Amphibians are an essential part of aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems. But unfortunately, they're disappearing at an alarming rate around the world. We have three species that we still consider to be secure, but the other seven species in Alberta are listed at some level of risk. Most people see frogs or hear them calling in the spring, but there are other species that we don't see very often, such as small salamanders that can be a lot more secretive. The long-toed salamander is a species of special concern in Alberta. It's found mostly in the Rocky Mountains, so it has a narrow range, and it lives in isolated populations. And it's very sensitive to habitat disturbance, like most other amphibians. So that's why we want to monitor them and check their populations periodically to see how they're doing, if they're stable or declining. Now, unlike frog salamanders don't make noises, so one of the best ways to, to try to look at them and get them in hand and check their general health and body condition is to put out pitfall traps. So what we're doing out here is we're setting out pitfall traps around this pond. When we find an amphibian, we take it out, we check the uh, species, we weigh it and measure it, and then we let it go right away. Another way that we can study these amphibians, especially salamanders, is to see if they're still coming back to ponds every year to breed. It's really important that we monitor the populations to find out if they are stable or declining, find out where they are and the ways that we can work together with people and the industries who live and work in the same areas to share that habitat. And that's something that everyone can help to do, is to keep the wetlands there and keep the water clean. And even reporting sightings is going to help us keep track of the amphibian populations throughout Alberta. If you want to take a more active role in helping to conserve our amphibians and monitor their populations, you could participate in a volunteer monitoring program wherein you send in sightings of amphibians that you see and they go into our provincial database. What people see when they're out on the landscape is really helpful. So check out these websites for more information and ways that you can help.